What's going on guys, Magnolia Mo here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to download and run the A1 Evo Neuron from Ob Obsessive Compulsive Audiophile and essentially do a comparison with the Odyssey calibrated settings versus the A1 Evo Neuron. I'm also going to, you know, walk you guys through uh, with the actual, you know, downloading of the script and, and uh, the how-to aspect of the A1 Evo Neuron to successfully run and send the settings back to your to your receiver. There are a couple of things that you need in order to successfully run uh, any of uh, obsessive compulsive audio files scripts, right? So you are going to need a Denon or a Marantz AVR or a processor uh, in order to successfully run the script. You also need REW. You're also going to need the Odyssey multi Q app on your iOS device or on uh, your Android device, right? In order to actually run the Odyssey calibration because the A1 Evo Neuron script or any of the other scripts from, uh, from Obsessive Compulsive Audio File, they require the Odyssey measurement. So the key aspect here is this, right? You have to, to run Odyssey correctly. I mean, when I say correctly, right, uh, I, I recommend taking all eight measurements because the more data the script has to use, the better the calibration results are going to be, right? All right, so enough talking. Let's get on uh, with the actual script here. All right, the first thing you're going to do is head over to the Obsessive Compulsive Audio File A1 Evo Neuron video. Click on the Google Drive link in the description, and there you'll find the various items or files that you're going to need to run this particular script, right? So the first, the first one would be the A1 Evo Neuron preview. That's the actual script. Uh, you also need the odd.wtf menu and then the odd.w2tf. And then, you know, once they're downloaded, you can move them all into a separate folder if you like. Talked about REW and there's a few things you need to do in REW. First, go over to preferences and then under the view tab, you need to uh, increase the maximum measurements, right? The number of maximum measurements to, to 500. Go over to the equalizer tab and there uncheck the drop filters if gain is small. And then under uh, API, you have to start the server. As you can see, I've all I've done all of this and then the server's already started, but you will have to restart uh, REW uh, for the settings to take effect, right? So once all of that is done, now click on the A1 Evo Neuron Preview Commish <laughs> uh, link and that will in your browser it'll start the a1 evo neuron audio optimization suite first item here is to upload configuration and for that you have to go into your download folder or into whatever folder you saved all the downloads locate the odd.wtf batch file and here you have uh, six options, you know, for this particular purpose, you only really going to need the first two, right? The first one is to generate the .avr configuration file from your receiver for use with Avon Evo Neuron. And then the second one is to transfer uh, the .oca optimized calibrated file back to your receiver. So in this case, I'm going to hit one and it's going to look for compatible AVRs and it found my X3800 and it has already generated the AVR file. Cool. Let's minimize. And there it is. The avr.avr file is in the download folder. Now let's go over, click on upload configuration, select the .avr file, and there you go. Now that the file is has been imported. So there are a few settings in here, right? You can actually run this just straight, right? Uh, with the with no enhancements, but but let's go over some of these. There is a maximum EQ frequency range that you can set starting with 120 hertz all the way up to a thousand hertz or one kilohertz, right? You can set what the maximum EQ EQ frequency will be. So I try to match what I did with Odyssey, right? With Odyssey, I applied uh, a curtain of 500 hertz. So anything uh, below 500 hertz is what I'm applying the EQ to. So I'm going to do the same thing in this particular case. And then uh, you have the maximum EQ boost, you have subwoofer tar target fill, you know, I leave those the way they are, minimum crossover frequency, maximum crossover frequency, I don't touch those, and then, and then I uncheck match 
uh, all crossovers, right? I want A1 Evo Neuron to determine the crossover for, for all of my speakers. Next, we need to extract the measurements from an automated calibration file, right? That would be a .ady file uh, that you would have either emailed yourself and saved uh, into a folder, or if you have MQX, you would have just, you know, you would have a downloaded copy of that, right? So in my case, I am going to use the standard base alignment, right? This is the .ady file that I had emailed myself via the Odyssey MultiQ app. So all you do is click on the extract measurements from an ADY file, file your, find your file and click open. And now the, it generates a zip file, right? And you click on the zip file, you'll see all of the Odyssey measurements, right? In this case, it's 96 different measurements. Uh, you left click and then control A and then go into your REW and just left click again drag and drop into rew and <clears throat> all of your odyssey measurements are going to be visible in rew fairly quickly right in this case that's it they're all there all 96 of them are in rew now we can start the optimization. Now that all of the measurements are there in REW, uh, you will just select the start optimization with existing measurements loaded in Room EQ Wizard. You could also do the Unleash Commish, but that, that just does not take into account any of the customizations that you just did. Oh wow, look at this. So now we have a problem. Evo Neuron is looking for measurements for subwoofer 2 and the odyssey file that i had selected was for the standard base the standard base does not include individual measurements for subwoofer 1 and 2 as you can see there's just a subwoofer mix essentially right uh, that is included in this particular ady file because it's standard base calibration from odyssey so I'm going to have to actually redo this and uh, instead of pulling in the ADY file for standard uh, base, I'm going to have to pull in the calibration file, the Odyssey calibration file associated with directional base. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, here's the directional base uh, Odyssey measurement file. So I'm going to take all of these measurements right here, right click and then control A and dump all of these measurements into REW. I believe it's a total of 104 measurements, right? Because this this now includes subwoofer 1 and subwoofer 2 individual measurements, and that's going to allow uh, A1 Evo Neuron to do its thing. All right, so here's the, the various settings, right? So I'm going to actually apply the curtain 500 hertz as i as i talked about earlier uncheck the match all crossovers and run the script so once the script has finished running you will see the .oca file in your downloads folder Right, so all you have to do is go back to the od.wtf menu and pick option two. So I'm going to select option two here, and then it will basically use the file, the file that was just generated by .oca, and it's going to pull up the compatible AVR receiver, and then which area would you like to connect to, and then you just basically press one, and then it's going to submit, or it's gonna transfer the data over um, to the AVR, right? So then once all of that is done, what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to validate the setting. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Here is the web interface for the Denon. I'm going to start with the audio side. Let me just check the subwoofer levels. Okay, so I can already tell that the OCA uh, calibrated file has uh, added its own touch to this, right? And it was in the minus before, basically, right? So now it's in the plus. Uh, base sync, no changes there. And 
Cinema EQ is off. That's fine. Volume. Odyssey. See, I can tell because the OCA file, it will use the flat Odyssey setting as opposed to the reference. So I'm just going to change that to reference because that's what I like to, to use. All right. So from an audio standpoint, those are the settings. Let me go into speakers, speaker layout, standard. Good. Nothing else changed here. Distances have been updated. Hmm, look at this, 27 uh, and then 4.4 4 feet, 3 inches for the, the sub in the back, center, uh, front, right, and center. So, so, you know, OCA, the script goes through and, you know, does some alignment, right? So subwoofer alignment. So I, I would think it would it makes sense, you know, with some of these weird distances that I'm seeing here. But uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to touch anything right now. I'm going to leave it the way it is. But I do know that that these uh, settings are not my normal Odyssey settings. And here are your speaker trims. Subwoofer 1 and 2, okay. So this is what OCA has set. Crossovers uh, via the Neuron script are 60 hertz across the board. Uh, and then let's go into the subwoofer setup. Output that's still LFE, low pass filter is 120 hertz. I don't have tactile transducer. So everything looks fine, except, you know, all the adjustments have been, you know, all, all the, the settings have been changed. So now let's go over to REW. So this is our front left original. Now let's find our front left final. Here it is. Okay. So you can see the difference. This looks very good to me. There's a slight bit of dip um, between 30 and 20 hertz, but then it picks it up. Originally, front left was rolling off, right? At, at about 31 hertz, 32 hertz. I can even go right here. Uh, so about 33, 34 hertz, it was rolling off. And this is with the subwoofer, you know, aligned, right? That's why you see uh, this big difference between before and after is because this is including the subwoofer. This is without the sub. But, I mean, this looks very good. Now, let me show you the target curve. Here's the target curve. That's the, this is the target curve for even Evo Neuron, right? And the calibration is done very close to that as you can see it's pretty good okay so let's remove that let's take a look at uh, front right and then front right final pretty much the same right same as as the front left final this is subwoofer one original that's the final very little difference i mean the difference is right here right there are the peaks these are the peaks in the measurement so this is not the odyssey calibrated setting okay so now the next step is for me to compare the odyssey calibration versus avon evo neuron okay so let's look at this one right here so i brought in a whole bunch of other curves in here right so let's uncheck some of this so let's see what a1 evo is doing right so let's look at left final and then let's look at left standard from odyssey let's just look at the full frequency spectrum here okay so this is odyssey calibration versus avon evo so there is a difference i think there's a big difference if you look at this it, it does produce more bass the odyssey calibration does compared to avon evo avon evo does not go uh, beyond i believe 30 hertz right and then let's look at the LFE or the subwoofer. So here's the subwoofer one final. Okay. So we can limit this to 200. Okay. This is your A1 Evo calibration of the subwoofer. And then I need to bring in my LFE, LFE, LFE. Where is it? LFE directional, LFE standard. Um pretty close right I can try to bring them together mm -hmm. I th I still think 
<laughs> the Odyssey is flatter than, or not flat, but it's more consistent, I would say, right? The difference is right here in around uh, 25 hertz, right? There's a difference of 5 dB. That's significant, right? So Odyssey actually is producing better results. So I don't know if I'm going to hear a big difference. Black omen to journey in poor health. You will remain and well rest yourself. I must object. My to assess the difference in in the sound, right, between Odyssey and A1 Evo Neuron, I watch some of my familiar content, starting with A Quiet Place. At that 47, 53 minute mark, when the creature is coming down the basement, that first step is a loud thud, right? That loud thud uh, with the Odyssey is not the directional base calibration but standard base calibration uh is smooth right but my uh sb3000 as i've mentioned before seems to get localized right if it's not calibrated correctly right so with odyssey there is no localization it's nice and smooth even evo neuron added an extra you know oomph to it right an extra thump to it uh, and it was much more stronger uh, than the regular odyssey calibration and then the other scene which you just saw is from nosferatu uh, it is the scene where the deed is being is just signed and uh orlock you know is leaving the room and walking towards us his voice is throughout you know it's is in all the channels you know your side surrounds your back surrounds and even in the heights but as he's moving towards us who, towards the viewer the steps and the voice gets heavier and heavier and with neuron even even neuron the the bass impact right not the voice but i'm talking just the overall just the the heaviness in the voice i guess uh you know is much more pronounced than the standard bass calibration from odyssey so it it was it made a difference uh, and then i watched other other movies you know with dialogue right and with some surround activity so surround sound or surround surround channels and your height channels uh seem to be more uh, active or uh, you know at the end of the day with neuron because all the trim levels have been increased right um, even the the subwoofers that, as I had shown earlier uh, in using REW the trims for the subs were 3 dBs higher uh, and that was the same case with the original A1, A1 EVO um, script as well which gives you the perception that it's much stronger base in my opinion right but it's just it's loud but it's not there's no distortion it's nice and it's smooth and and it's impactful it actually adds more enjoyment right to the overall movie watching experience so my thoughts essentially are it doesn't hurt to try right so try it out you know i've given you guys the steps and so has oca uh you know on his channel uh you can use what he's got or you can just follow what i did either way um you know it's something that you can try and and judge for yourself right i will tell you one thing definitively that uh, you will not need dynamic eq uh, with this script or the other uh, original a1 evo script because of the target curve and because of the trim levels and how the bass is is calibrated right it's pretty strong even at normal listening volumes forget about you know when you actually go up on the volume levels it gets you know obviously stronger but with no distortion all right guys so i hope you guys like this video i hope you found this video useful um leave me some feedback have you tried this uh, a1 evo neuron script and what are your thoughts um, did you find it useful do you actually are you using it uh, i will use it um, for my standard base uh, calibration right in preset one and then my directional base would be the odyssey directional base calibration because i, I like that one that that aspect as well all right, I'll see you guys in the next one.